Hey there, friends. It's Timothy Curver at Stolfis RV in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Boy, it is a beautiful fall day here today. Um, so I wanted to do a video, and I think I found something. This is a 2019. This is a wild uh, Winnebago. Uh, this is an Intent. That is uh, the the line of an A-Class. So it's kind of more of a starting point for an A-Class motorhome. So this one is fiberglass walls, and this one also has decals on it. So this one here is a, like I said, it's a 2019 Intent. The floor plan on it is called a 29L. So it's under 30 feet. Um, it is super clean. It only has 22,000 miles on it, uh, but it is really nice. So let me spin this around, what it looks like. Um, I'm using a new gimbal here. A lot of people said that my videos are kind of shaky. I apologize about that. I'm trying to figure that out myself. So um, so this is it here. It's all under 30 feet, as you can see. It has a motor in the front. Uh, so this is a gasser. And this is on the V10. So this is before they went to that, the big Godzilla motor. Um, you do have cameras on each side. So when you put your left and right turn signal on, it does offer that feature that you'll be able to see down your side of your coach. Um, it has a power step, so when you first come in and come out, it would go in and out, but if you wanted to, you can stop that once you get to your campsite, so you don't have to worry about it coming in and coming out. There's your battery for uh, your house. Also, here is storage. So these are all Rotocast cabinets by Winnebago, so the really nice thing about Winnebago is that you can always get parts for them. They make and manufacture all of their most of their parts for their vehicles. So in 10, 20 years from now, if you needed a part, you'll still be able to get it. This is your hydraulics for your stabilizing and also your pumps. A uh, real nice thing about this unit is it has an outside kitchen. So there's your TV, your little sink. Look at you have a little hook there to hang things, open up beer bottles, some storage, and a little refrigerator. You also have power out here too. So it has a really a nice amenities on this little unit um, in the back of it you can carry uh, another kind of like car or if you wanted to have a racking system back there it has a seven pin this is your gas fill and it does have a ladder for you to be able to get up on your roof and um, maintain your roof and make sure that there's nothing else up there so you do have a full body slide as you see it does also have a topper on the very top of it so that um, if any debris up there would come down or land on that you once you bring it in you'd be able to um, It'll just fall off. So plenty of storage down here all the way across. You also have a generator on this unit. Plenty of storage. You have a, a water heater here, your fresh water outlet, and your black tank. Here's your camera on the left side. Really nice. I don't see anything really crazy. It just needs a little cleaning. I don't see any bent fenders or uh, anything that sticks out that you'd have to be concerned about. Like I said, it only has 22,000 miles on it, so it's just getting broken in. So let's go inside. So as you enter, um, there's little storage areas right here on the step. As you can see, they're kind of, um, it needs to be cleaned, but there's storage there. Also, when you first walk in on the left, underneath one of the little seats is some storage. There's a light. And this is to for your awning and to bring your lights out. And this little step right here, it says step off and on. So once you get your campground, you would just hit off on the steps and it would stay out all the time. Otherwise, you would just leave it on. It would just go in and out every time we would open and close the door. So on your driver's side of your coach, um, there's your leveling system that's in the middle, your radio, everything you'd need, shades. On your passenger side, no rips or tears. Everything looks brand new. Even your doghouse looks nice and clean. There's a table that goes in between it. Um, up above, there is a bed that does come down for sleeping area. You can see speakers there. So when you first walk in to the left of your unit, there is your booth dinette. So there's a large booth dinette there. You also have a large TV and plenty of storage up there. This would convert into a sleeping area. This table would just go down, lay on that railing, and um, these back cushions would just fill that. People always think that's a safe, but it's actually just a breaker box and fuses. Uh, take note on the floor here, all your heater vents are in the wall, so it'll keep you nice and toasty, and that only does heat. Directly across from us is your um, jackknife sofa. So this goes flat. This is not a theater seating. This is a jackknife sofa. But at least you'll be able to see your TV. And as you can see, there's plenty of cabinets. So here's the slide. You see that goes all the way down the unit. That is a full body slide. But just the beautiful cornices. I think they're very tastefully done with all the patterns. 
little um, area here to put cups while you're traveling. Uh, this is your kitchen area, plenty of cabinet space throughout. This one also has a stove and an oven. There's your microwave, but even the sink, super clean. That little pink stuff you see there, that is insulation. We just insulated or we just um, winterized all of our coaches here, but um, just super nice. Here's all of your controls on this unit. This will be lights. There's your inverter, your thermostat, generator start. That's how you open up the bed, the hood of your, you put that up and down and that's your slide button. So I think they do a very tasteful job here. This is our restroom. There is a shower there with a skylight. There is your sink right there. Plenty of cabinet space. You also have your toilet right there, your TP holder. And on the door, it also has a little towel rack. So you can put your towel there to dry. So we'll shut this here. Your bedroom, there's a little step up there. So you have a nice queen size bed uh, with plenty of storage on both sides. Over here, they have these little cutouts. Those little cutouts on both sides, if you can see back in there, that is actually a uh, power cord, USB. See, they have one on each side, but if you have a CPAP machine, you'll be able to put it there. A window in the back. Uh, there is a fan in here, just to get some circulation. The foot of your bed is plenty of closet space, as you can see. It also has a TV at the foot of your bed and also a window and uh, plenty of storage space in here. This does not opt for a washer and dryer. These are just primarily closet space in here for you. There's a table that goes in the front there. And there's a little light that when you put to, when you turn it on, it'll go off for you too. A little toggle switch there for it. Uh, this now goes into your pantry. So this will be more of a pantry in your kitchen area. And then you have your refrigerator right here. This is the DMB. Uh, this is basically an electric refrigerator. So that'll run off your battery. So just a super, super coach. If you yourself are looking for one, this could be it. If you know anybody who's looking for one, this video, tell them about it um, and see if we can get it out there. I want you to like this video and share it. Talk to you real soon. Uh, my cell phone number is 610-348-3050. That number again is 610-348-3050. I look forward to earning your business and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye now.